It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. The brilliant performance podcast. So when did Star Brim meet Cardi B? Body B. I met Barty a couple of years ago by a person that was our um, friend at the time. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of people think that I met her at the strip club. A lot of people think that I'm a stripper. I never stripped in my life. Not that I have, a, you know, a problem against the strippers, but I always bartended in a strip club. Mm. So, and the reason I bartended is because... I'm fighting a case. Like, you understand? I have to come up with fast money to pay job. for this lawyer. Mm. So that, and I can't scam. So this is why I started bartending. I didn't bartend because I wanted to bartend. I don't even like people. Like, I don't fuck it. I don't drink. You understand? Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to look you in your face. I don't want to shake my ass until I see the money being thrown. Like, you know, I go to people and be like, what's up? You babysitting this? Like, what you going to do with this money? Like, you know, because it's like, let's get this over with. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Like, so... Um, that's how I met her. I met her a couple of years back by a mutual friend. It wasn't like in a strip club or anything like that. By the time I met her, she wasn't even stripping no more. Really? Yeah, she was out that life. Question, why are there bartenders in the strip club? Hi, who's to serve the, drinks. Who's going to serve you a drink? Yeah, but why just have the strippers do it? Because they work. they're working. <laughs> work a little more. <laughs> like, because whenever I'm in a strip club, the waitresses... Look better? Are better looking in the that strippers. Is, that, that's so changed listen, over the years. So listen, though. let me... It has no, not no, changed I mean, in New York. I mean, it, it changed where the bartenders look better than the strippers. Because no. when I was coming up, the strippers was the shit. Yeah. And then the bartenders So basically, the I shit. feel like this. And this is why I say it all the time. You see how everybody be like, oh, yeah, there's no racism in the club. It is. Every single time I have ever bartended, I'm the only black girl there. There's mm. no other black girls that's bartending with me. They're all strippers, basically. And I feel like it's, it's simple. At the end of the day... Spanish people attract Spanish guys, right? Spanish guys, when they come to a club, they're not going to sit here and ask for a discount on a bottle. A black guy is. Like, you understand? So business owners be wanting to attract. <laughs> for real. Like, I, I know I am. Like, wait, 300 for this? Like, what's up? I can't get a discount if I buy two. Like, you understand? Mm -hmm. a, a Spanish guy's either going to get it or not. You understand? They're either going to buy this or they're not. And then on top of it, these Spanish bitches got their body done because their cousins do it. You understand? In the basement. So... <laughs> it's easy. Uh, really? It's easy for them to get their body done. It's harder for a bitch like trip me to, to get to my DR body to go done. see grandma. You know what I'm saying? They know everybody. They know in their country. You know how to get the discounts, where to get the discounts from. Black girls, we gotta pay full price. So it's yeah. like, oh hell no, we ain't getting this shit. Except for a bitch like me, because I got this one. You know, whoever paid for my shit at the time. Thank you very much, whoever she was. Um, what you got? I was scamming. I got lipo. Oh, all right. What what is what what is, lipo means? You take it out. Did you stuff it back in anywhere? No, I just took it out. I wanted it. I, I told him to save it for me, but he didn't. What was you gonna do with it? I wanted to put it in my ass, but he said didn't. He said no. Oh, okay. So you got lipo. What does that mean? So you made yourself skinnier. What did you do yeah, with the lipo? Yeah, like I got all this. I made it skinnier because when I first started bartending, um, I used to make like three, four thousand a night, and I used to just, listen. That's nothing. I used to make like three, four thousand a night, and I used to sit there and be like, yo. Like, my father was like, don't start bartending. You're going to want to get your body done. And I used to be like, nigga, are you crazy? Look at me. Like, I'm never going to... When I seen all them bitches in there with their body done, I'm like, oh, yeah. I need to get this snatched, that snatch. It really does fuck with your mental. You really yeah. start to see people and be like, nah, I do need to get this done. Huh. And it's crazy because once I got it done, I started making no less than 8000 a night. So why would anyone strip? I don't know. A lot of people A lot of people like different things. Like, you understand? Maybe they're not... How much are the strippers making? Not more than me. Yeah, I do remember. They're making Tommy. less money to show their pussy than you are to bring Coronas to tables. Yeah, I remember that time in New York when the bartenders took over, though. Like when it was the yeah, star like, tenders like, with Bernice yeah. and um, all of them. You got to realize this too. Crazy. A lot of girls, a lot of strippers, don't want to have that type of clientele. You understand? In order for you to have people throw money on you, like as a bartender, my friends, people ain't just coming throwing money on me. These are my clientele. These are my friends. These are the relationships I built. You know, strippers just come. They could come get their money. They make their money and they could go their way. They don't have to sit here and text you later at night like, "What's up, boo?" Uh, they don't have to sit there and do shit like that. You understand? I had to be flirting with niggas and telling niggas like yeah pop out to my club you understand do shit like that I had right. to sit there and really do this for a week straight until the day that it, you understand to this day that I work I have to sit there and really talk to you communicate flirt convince you that you might get some pussy you know shit like that right. where a bartender a, a stripper you just go in shake your ass get your cash and leave I see okay, you don't really okay. have to do so much as clientele you don't have clientele your, your clients is everybody that's in here bartenders is the one that's promoting like if you really look at strippers pages you're not gonna see them ever sitting here saying catch me here catch me here for a week come show me love here this is bartenders bartenders is promoting parties every yeah. single day they could put up a regular picture and the caption to be oh come see me at I, I, I. you understand uh, like so, we're the ones bringing everybody in. I don't even know who the fly strippers are anymore. Um, there's a lot of popping strippers, but okay. um, 
There are a lot of them that's down south because you got to realize New York is the only place where bartenders get money thrown at them. Every other place, like down south, strippers are the only ones getting money thrown at them. Bartenders don't get money thrown at them. That's something that's only in New York. So if you really want to make a good living as a stripper, go down south because these motherfuckers is buying houses and cars and everything. Like, you understand, they really have, they file taxes. Right. Like, you have to, down south, you have to get a permit and you have to go to, like, the local police station and they have to give you a permit in order for you to strip at <laughs> clubs. In New York, you don't. You, have, you don't have to permit. You don't have to have none of that. But every other so place. So every stripper is licensed. Every stripper down south is licensed. And you have to take a test for that? What is no, it? you just you go you just gotta go to the local <laughs> precinct with a paper and they fill out the paper and they basically give you a license because now basically you could file taxes. You know, you could do other oh, they things. I didn't know that. Some money. Yeah. I had no idea. They could file taxes and everything. Like they buy houses with like it's strippers down there in the south that's making thirty, forty thousand a night. Like that can't Depends be Depends where you I'm at, though. I'm telling you. Like Houston, Atlanta, Atlanta Houston, like certain Miami. parts of North Carolina. Like. Yeah, it depends where you at. It depends where you at. Like, you're not going to go to Jackson, Mississippi. And, you know, it's a $40,000 <laughs> strip right now. Yeah, like, like Vegas. You getting, <laughs> no disrespect to Jackson, but I'm just saying.